Hello, hey everyone, I am Joey Sparks, and God's mercies are new again this morning. This morning with my mom. No one really likes to wait. We don't enjoy waiting. If we know we're waiting, we try to find something to distract us so that we're not actually waiting. We're doing something else. Peter, in the gospel accounts, is clearly known as one who was adverse to waiting. He was quite often impatient or lacking self-control. And yet when you find Peter writing first and second Peter, you find one who has a clear change of mindset. He's still bold. You see that in the Acts narratives, but he has a proper, healthy understanding of what it means to wait on the Lord and to wait in the Lord. And so in 1 Peter, as he closes that letter about suffering, he says, after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. So he gets the role of waiting, that you're going to have to suffer. But in the end, all suffering is temporary. So God will make it worth your wait. And then you get to 2 Peter, and it's clear there's an emphasis on waiting. He says, after talking about the destruction of the earth when the Lord returns, he says, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be set on fire and dissolved, and the heavenly bodies will melt as they burn. But according to his promise, we are waiting for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you are waiting for these, be diligent to be found by him without spot or blemish and at peace and count the patience of our Lord as salvation. So Peter says here is the importance of waiting. Wait on the Lord because he will come back. He will bless you with this new heavens, new earth. Be sure that you're diligent. Be sure that you are pure in your life. Be sure that you're at peace. But he also says you count the patience of the Lord as salvation. Think about how qualified Peter was to remind us of the importance of the Lord waiting. We are to wait on him if we're faithful in him. But don't ever forget the importance of him waiting because he waited patiently with Peter. Peter was transformed and changed by the gospel. He counted it as salvation, he says. And we must do the same. So what a picture of a transformed life. We see one who was known for being too impatient and too quick at times. Come to understand the healthy role of waiting, waiting on God and waiting like God would have us to. What a blessing this now becomes for our lives as we wait on the Lord's return. We thank you so much for your time today. It's our prayer that God's timeless word will be your meditation all day today. I woke up this morning.